greetings. We watched you fighting on the beach. The other off-worlders were very unkind. We are much friendlier. Have you come to trade? Do you need lodgings? Outsiders are always welcome here. Thank you for the warm welcome. I'm surprised you're so open to outsiders. We love outsiders. You all have such interesting things to say. <coughs> An entirely new offworlder. We've never encountered your language. Please, speak more. Oh, there's no need for that, I assure you. I can speak quite well for both of us. Allow me to introduce... The second head speaks too. I assumed it was decorative. How fascinating. You mentioned the other offworlders earlier. The ones who attacked me. What do you know about them? We don't know much. I'm afraid they usually avoid us. It seems a little rude, but we know that our ways are different. They have some camps on the island. They wear different colors. Dark in one, light in the other. But they all work together, like you. Revenites. Some from the Republic, some from the Empire. I think you're right. I'm still going over the data Theron decoded from the Nova Blades. Go to those camps and interfere any way you can. It may still be possible to turn them away from Revan's teachings. If so, I'll find a way. Whatever works, just don't take too long. What's it gonna be, Jedi? Did you come to spout your narrow-minded drivel? Or do you have something more permanent in mind? If you didn't want to hear my drivel, you'd have opened fire already. You want to talk this through. We don't have anything to talk about. We've sworn to overthrow the governments who've kept the galaxy divided for so long. To end this war. How can you possibly justify standing in our way? You're betraying the Republic, causing thousands of deaths, all on the word of a single madman. Revan sees through the lies. He knows how to save the galaxy. From what? War? Revan's been fighting this war for centuries. He's obsessed with it. The man you're following says he's going to save us all, but he's manipulating and killing quite a lot of us along the way. Will there be anyone left to save when he's done? I... I don't know. What do you want from me? Huh? Why are you saying all of this? You can help me stop this madness before anyone else gets hurt. There's another camp nearby. Help me break up their forces. The less support Revan has, the less damage he can do. The former Imperials? You really are crazy. You know what? I'm in. Anyone else? We've got your back, Cap. Be just like old times. You give us a signal, we'll charge in with everything we've got. Glad to hear it. Speak your name, Jedi. I like to know who I'm about to kill. Captain Milanek. Don't be ridiculous. I know the man. He's... Ah. Changing sides again, Captain? I always knew you were too weak to carry our fight to its end. Insults make for hollow last words, Ivris. It's over. There's no point in more fighting. No, I suppose not. We'll keep them under watch and hold down the camp. We can fake the security check-in so no one notices. At least for a while. Also, we got something interesting out of one of the Sith guards. Here, 
coordinates for the bunker where your pal Theron's being held. Good work. Thanks. Good luck to you. You're back. The Rishi told us about some disturbances in the camps. I dealt with them both. Theron is being held in another Revanite stronghold nearby. Do we know anything about it? The Valley Facility? We just learned about it ourselves. The Rishi tell us there are quite a few starships hidden in the vicinity. Revan's fleet? Precisely. And according to the Nova Blades data logs, his plan is moving swiftly. Fleets from the Empire and Republic are approaching as we speak. These aren't just small patrol groups. Both navies have gathered their most powerful warships. They're being overseen directly by Darth Maher and Satil Shan. Critical leaders for a critical battle. Revan's deception has been very effective. <laughs> what do we know about the Revanite facility? It seems to be their primary operating center on Rishi. Heavy security with only one clear path of approach. We'll have to attack straight on if we're to have any hope of rescuing Theron and stopping this fleet battle. Then that's what I'll do. We'll assist you any way that we can. May the Force serve you well. And in. Theron's toys make all of this slicing much simpler than I'd imagined. Can you find any hard data on his location? Let's see. Here we are. Recorded interrogation sessions. Coordinates are included. I'll forward them along. What about Revan? No information either way. I'd advise caution. Another pointless attack. Where's Theron? He and I have had some interesting conversations. My own flesh and blood, completely blind to the sacrifices I've made. I've struggled for centuries to preserve the galaxy, to protect future generations from the most destructive evil that's ever existed. How can none of you see this? Do you speak of the Sith, the dark side? The Jedi have defeated them many times. We don't need your ruthless manipulations. You do. You just refuse to see it. Here. Come on, we have to go. Now. Theron? Escaped all on your own. I hoped I would have more time to make you see. He's got a signal jammer that's blocking all starship communications in the Risi system. The fleets will come out of hyperspace practically on top of each other. No coordination, saboteurs in every crew. It'll be a massacre. And at last, the board will be cleared of distractions. Self-destruct sequence. Come on, we've got to go. Look out! Hello? Is everyone all right? Lana, you shut down the self-destruct? I'm beginning to get the hang of this slicing business. Uh, I've created a monster. You should hurry back. The Republic and the Imperial fleets will be arriving very soon. I'll return immediately. I'll meet you there. Need to grab a few things on the way out. Attacking from the air is pointless. The anti-air defenses are much too thick. I'm afraid of them, doesn't that count? What are our other options? I think a surface attack is our only real shot at taking the jammer down. Leave that to me. Perfect. We'll arrange transportation for you. You've got to move fast. The fleets are going to be dropping out of hyperspace any second now. The longer we take... <clears throat> the longer we take, the more we lose. You don't sound good, Theron. Shouldn't you be in a Colto tank instead of planning missions? Probably. But there's no time. I need to finish slicing the last of these Nova Blade files. They have data on every ship with Revanite infiltrators aboard. As soon as the jamming clears, we'll have to broadcast everything we've got to convince the fleets to cease fire and lock up the Revanites and their crews. One last thing since Lana stepped out. Watch your back. 
We're starting to think my little visit to the Revenites might have been her idea. You think she's working for the Revenites? No, but I don't think she's putting all her cards on the table either. Just stay alert, all right? I won't let my guard down. Good. Enough conspiracy talk. Get out there and take that jammer down. Public fleet, come in. Do you read me? Flagship Dauntless here, patching you through to the command deck. This is Satil Sean. Do we have you to thank for shutting down that jammer? Back and a whole lot more. There are traitors hiding on every ship in your fleet. The Imperial ships too. They're manipulating the battle from both sides. I'm transmitting the traitors' names now. They're part of a cult. The Order of Revan. Revan? But he was killed. Apparently it didn't take. All ships cease fire. Open a channel to the Imperial Commander. I've been listening. As ruses go, this is quite creative. It's the truth. Round up the people from Theron's list and see for yourself. And if you're correct, what do you propose? A meeting. Face to face on neutral ground. There's a town on the surface, Raiders Cove. We'll send coordinates for the meeting spot. Very well. I hope you know what you're doing. Would anyone like some refreshments? We have several fine beverages available. No, thank you. I'm fine. All right. Off to a good start. Master Satil, thank you for coming. Of course. The Revenite ships have all been scattered, captured, or destroyed. Their accomplices aboard our vessels are in chains. You found a threat and given us the means to root it out. Separately, what do we have to discuss? Revan is still alive, my lord. And his plans don't stop here. The Emperor's not dead. Revan thinks he can fix that, but he's wrong, isn't he? No one person, not even Revan, can truly destroy the Emperor. I sense fear in you, Ma. If your Emperor cannot be destroyed, why fear Revan? I would welcome the Emperor's destruction. Revan's meddling will bring quite the opposite. The Emperor's current state is nebulous, incorporeal. To strike at him, Revan will first have to return him to a physical form. Which is exactly what the Emperor wants. He will destroy Revan, then move on to the rest of us. In time, he will consume all life in the galaxy. Every living thing in the entire galaxy? It doesn't seem possible. The depths of the Emperor's power are as much a mystery to me as to you. But he is capable of it. I'm certain. We have to stop this. Intercept Revan before he can restore the Emperor's form. The Emperor's hideaway is a secret, even to the Dark Council. The fourth moon of Yavin. That's where we'll find Revan. 
He wanted me to join him there. Never said I couldn't bring a few friends. According to our data, he still has extensive forces at his disposal. We would stand a better chance of overcoming them together. No matter what evidence I present, I doubt the Supreme Chancellor will agree to any kind of alliance or truce. Neither will the Dark Council, but my ships and the soldiers aboard them are loyal to me. I can convince my troops to maintain a truce. They've seen Revan's threat firsthand. Then we meet on Yavin 4. Agreed. Theron. We can talk on the way to Yavin. I have some business to finish here. Thank you for your help. All of you. This can't have been easy. The conspiracy is finally exposed. We've been hiding our actions from our allies for so long, it's a relief to have everything in the open. So we can talk about how you threw me to the wolves now? I made a calculated strategic decision, and it worked, as we can all see now. And if you had talked to me about it, I would have volunteered, but you didn't even give me a choice. We couldn't risk the Revanites knowing that your capture was a ploy. You had to be in the dark for the plan to work. Theron had a right to know the danger he was going into, Lana. You should never have hidden the truth from him, or the rest of us. The ends have clearly justified the means. Personal feelings are irrelevant next to that. I think it's time we moved on. Yavin is a long way from here. Agreed. Let's get moving. I'll see you there. Safe travels! <laughs>